Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. The week's top headlines from American Angus Association headquarters include complete coverage from the National Western Stock Show. We have highlights from the National Western Angus Shows, the Angus Bull Sale, and the Angus Foundation Heifer Package. And in other news, the Cattle Facts Outlook for 2014, live cattle exports, and more. This is the Angus Report. Hello, I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. One of the year's favorite cattle traditions takes place at the National Western Stock Show in Denver, Colorado. Thousands of visitors attended the event mid-January where Angus breeders and their families participate in some of the most competitive cattle shows in the country. It's also a time for fellowship in the yards and at several other Angus events during the week. Of course, we'll have additional coverage from the National Western later in the show. U.S. cattle breeders are seeing an increase in demand for live cattle exports overseas. Expanding purchasing power in many countries and increased global corn prices have cattlemen overseas looking for the best breeding genetics available. Tony Clayton of Clayton Agri-Marketing says there's growing opportunity for live cattle exports in countries like Russia, Kazakhstan, Turkey, and Iraq. A lot of countries are void quality genetics. And so there's where the interest is. Livestock Exporters Association, our website, shows all of our members and people that are active in certain parts of the world. As we know, Angus will have a stronger base of uh, potential clientele from uh, you know, Eastern Europe, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and that part of the world, Turkey. So uh, uh, getting in contact with some of those people, if you're going to try it on your own, uh, it would be like a marketing plan uh, here in the United States. 2014 is a year of transition. That's according to market analysis from Cattlefax. Cheaper feed costs and improved weather conditions will keep cost of gains at about 50 to 80 cents per pound as opposed to $1.30 a year ago, says analyst Chad Spearman. That spells an optimistic outlook for U.S. cattle producers. The improved weather conditions and cheaper feed costs, we're also expecting to see the, the beef cow inventory stabilize uh, in January of 2014. And expect to see cow-calf producers begin to expand their herd and actually see a larger beef cow number on January 1, 2015. Fed cattle markets expects to be a seasonal market with uh, spring highs in the spring of 2014 and summer lows uh, with an average market around $130 per hundredweight, uh, up about $4 a hundredweight compared to 2013. Um, the cheaper feed costs are expected to be very supportive to uh, calf prices in 2014, uh, which are expected to be average record high level up around $185 to $190. Reproduction and fertility are critical to the success of any cow-calf operation. Reproductive technologies like artificial insemination and embryo transfer allow cattlemen like Paul Bennett of Knollcrest Farms to achieve genetic improvement at a relatively rapid pace. In our embryo transfer program, uh, moving to uh, the use of implanting fresh embryos versus frozen embryos has given us a huge improvement in efficiency of about a 20 percent increase in pregnancy rates. Our AI synchronization program has shortened our calving season. It has given us the opportunity to have a higher percentage of our calves sired by highly proven AI sires. Uh, not only does uh, that efficient AI program improve uh, our uh, genetics, but it also simplifies our management program. And just something as simple as preg checking by, by ultrasound uh, gives us many management tools to work with in terms of marketing cattle, managing cattle, sorting cattle, and knowing what our inventory is going to be in the future. When the Angus Report returns, we travel to Denver, Colorado for complete coverage of the National Western Stock Show. That's right, we bring you all the highlights from the show ring to the yards, and Dan Green takes us behind the scenes. Visit Angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. It's more than a symbol. It's volunteer beef and dairy producers like you making careful decisions on how to invest your beef checkoff dollars. 
It's about multiplying those dollars to ensure the beef you produce makes its way to more meat cases, menus, and kitchen tables from New York to Tokyo. And it's about making sure those who influence our consumers feel confident about recommending beef. It's more than a symbol. Get to know your checkoff and start sharing your views at mybeefcheckoff.com. Its arrival is as routine as the truck that brings the next load of calves. You stand ready, waiting, watching for symptoms. A revolutionary new weapon in hand. Unique chemistry and hard-hitting active ingredient. Longer duration in the respiratory tract. Rapid absorption. Join the Zuprevolution. Zuprevo, Tilda Pearson. See your veterinarian. Here it is, folks. The Thomas Angus Ranch brings you 120 fall long yearling bulls on February 14th and 400 head on March 4th. Thomas Angus Ranch at LGW starts at 3 p.m. on February 14th in Pendleton, Oregon, selling bulls sired by Hoover Dam, Keneally Thunder, and more. And the Thomas Angus Ranch Spring Bull Sale on March 4th offers 100 spring yearling bulls, 100 fall long yearling bulls, and 200 bred females that excel on the range, in the feedlot, and on the rail. The March 4th sale starts at noon in Baker City, Oregon. Don't miss your chance to put the right genetics in your herd. Thomas Angus Ranch, the brand that covers the nation. Harness the power of the industry's most comprehensive DNA test for Angus cattle, the GeneSeq Angus GGP HD. The GeneSeq Angus GGP HD improves reliability of EPDs in young animals and those with low accuracy EPDs. Adding GeneSeq Angus GGP HD information on a day old calf is just like adding progeny data without waiting two to three years. Because DNA testing is not influenced by environment or management, the GeneSeq Angus GGP HD gives your customer a better view of how that animal will work in their herds. GeneSeq and Igenity, partnering with Angus since 2009 and in delivering innovation to the industry. Learn more at neogenagrigenomics.com.